Hello and welcome to PointWise, where grid generation and user friendliness converge. For today's PointWise exercise, I will show you how to orient your domains and blocks in a way that most solvers will accept. Some CFD solvers require that grids be oriented according to the right-hand rule. Doing so will avoid negative volumes. Now what is this right-hand rule? It's a simple way to standardize the relative orientation of a three-axis reference system. If we all observe this standard, then that will save us a lot of trouble down the road. Typically, engineers will call these the positive x, positive y, and positive z axes. With regard to computational fluid dynamics, or CFD, these vectors are often called the i, j, and k directions. There are two ways to visualize the right-hand rule. The first is what I call the triad. Now take your right hand, sometimes called your starboard hand, and orient it in this fashion. The index finger points in the positive I direction, the middle finger points to the positive J direction, and the thumb, which is actually the cross product of both the I and J directions, well that points in the positive K direction. The fact that the K direction is normal to both the I and J direction is why we sometimes call it the normal vector. Now there is one more method for using the right hand for direction orientation purposes. I call this the curled fingers technique. Point all of your fingers in the positive I direction and curl them towards the positive J direction. Your thumb will then point in the positive K direction. We sometimes receive support calls from users who are having trouble getting fluent to import their grids from pointwise. Most of the time, it is due to the grid having a domain or block somewhere that contains a left hand rule orientation. To help prevent these issues, PointWise has a relatively simple way to make sure all of your domains and blocks have consistent orientation, and hopefully, a right-hand ruled orientation. Take a look at this group of four structured blocks. It looks two-dimensional, but as I rotate the view, you can see that it is truly three-dimensional. These blocks look pretty good, right? Nothing out of the ordinary. However, it is very possible that your CFD solver would not accept the output from these blocks because one of them has a left-hand orientation. Let's investigate. First, select all four blocks and then go to the Edit menu and select Orient. On the left side of the screen is an Orient panel. This panel gives a lot of information. For one thing, at the top is a table that tells us that we have a left-handed block. To find out which one it is, you can simply press the button labeled Select Left-Handed Blocks. There are two ways to fix this. First, you can do it by hand by reversing either the I, J, or K direction. You can see those buttons on the panel in the frame marked Reverse. First, let's look at a block that has a proper right-handed orientation. Okay, it looks like the red arrows should point to the right and the yellow arrows should point up. That means the K direction points out of the screen at U. Now let's switch back to the left-handed block and make the appropriate changes. And there we have it. All of our blocks have a right-hand orientation. This method could be cumbersome if you have a lot of blocks. So let's talk about the other method which you may find easier. This method involves selecting one block and calling it the master and then we select all the others and push the Align button. First, let me undo the changes to our bad block. All right. Now let's select a good block. I will now push the button labeled Set Master. All right, next I will select all the other blocks and then push the button labeled Align. This ensures that all of my blocks have a consistent, proper right-hand rule orientation. Your solver can now import these blocks without any problems. If you have more questions or are looking for more information, please send us an email at support at pointwise.com. Thank you very much for watching.